Now, final score with Nick Walters on Fox 16. Well, the wait is almost over. Welcome into Final Score. We hope you enjoyed a relaxing weekend that, like us, has your football excitement meter at the max because it was the last week without live games for the rest of the year. Like it does every summer, the fall kind of snuck up on us. This coming Friday, we got high school charity games. The Friday after that, the season kicks off. And on the following Saturday, college football returns. While the Hogs play right here in Little Rock, the UCA Bears will be in Stillwater. There's a lot of hype right now in Conway, and for good reason. Telling by the talent and experience on their roster, UCA could be scary good. Now under two weeks out from game day, let's get to know the 2023 Bears. The countdown to kickoff keeps on ticking towards a new season on the Stripes. A new conference in the UAC, new opportunity at o and but for the most part, the same UCA Bears. Entering year six as head coach, the program's all-time passing leader, Nathan Brown, brings back nearly the entire team that led UCA to a 5-6 and six finish and a shared ASUN title last fall. You know, a lot coming back, a lot to be excited about here in Conway, Arkansas. You know, coming off of a 2022 uh, Coe Sun Championship, we've got close to at or around 90% of our production back um, from last year's team. And um, I think that's something that gives you some anticipation for the season that, that gets us excited. So people are familiar with, you know, what we showcased last year and know the talent that we have. So I think it's just about, like I said, being consistent this year. You know, last year, uh, obviously it was my first year at UCA, but it was a lot of guys first year. You know, we, we they had a lot of uh, missing pieces from their previous year. So a lot of people just kind of feeling each other out, like you said, and getting comfortable. And I think, you know, being back a second year with about the same team, you know, we, we have big expectations. I think this team has the makeup, the pedigree, um, and really, really the drive to be to be an, a successful team. Um, Talent-wise, one of the more talented teams I've been fortunate enough to be a head coach of. With familiar faces on the roster, a big change on the staff is Greg Stewart returning to UCA as defensive coordinator. He'll have key pieces back, like edge rushers Logan Jessup and David Walker, plus Tamarian Wilson and Cameron Godfrey in the secondary. We're really excited to see Coach Stacks back here. Uh, you know, he had a good defense when he ran it uh, back in 2017, so to have him back uh, keep us enthusiastic and just really ready to work, I think he's going to help us tremendously. Basically, it's the same defense. Ain't nothing really changed. It's just we're being more free now. We can play, we can play loose and play free, so we make more plays. We have all the pieces, and we just got to put them together. Uh, yeah, our coaching staff trusts us and gives us a lot of freedom, uh, just because um, we're experienced on the back end, so we can do a lot more different things. Um, but having that freedom can have us disguise a little bit better and just be more successful as well. Um, it's pretty exciting. We got we got a solid solid front four, and um, just to be able to open up spaces for me to actually rush and not get double team, and to create more spaces for other people to make plays and um, just rush the pass, you know, and um, I'm excited. I'm really excited about this season. On offense, the running back room doesn't lack talent or depth. Darius Hale, Kylan James, and Shunderick Powell make up a three-headed monster in the backfield. Quarterback Will McIlvain returns for his second season as a Bear. Once coined the next Johnny Manziel at Iowa State and Northern Iowa, the dual threat passer has a point to prove in his final go at it in college. Yeah, I think I do have a chip on my shoulder. I think I always have. You know, I started as a walk on and uh, just kind of want to continue to prove myself. I think I've shown flashes, highs and lows of what I can be. And I just want to be, you know, consistent and, you know, have my senior year be uh, a good year. He can be our team captain, honestly. You can say he's our team captain. He gives up. Every morning at 8 a.m., he gets defensive players up, offensive players up, running backs up, everybody's up. 8 a.m. every morning to work. So he's figured out the offense now. He's really comfortable, so it just makes it easy on all of us. So it's all one big, combined, cohesive unit. You just get more comfortable in the system and being able to check certain stuff and just being able to – now you just say, I'm, I'm a real vet. As usual with their schedule, the Bears aren't shying away from a challenge. UCA invites competition from A-Sun's rebranded football-only United Athletic Conference, and the team will start things off with a couple major tests in non-conference. This schedule is no different. You know, we, we, we open with Oklahoma State, a non-conference game week three at North Dakota State. We host SEMO, Southeast Missouri, who's picked to win their conference. Uh, they were conference champions last year. Um, and then obviously a, a full UAC schedule um, with the new United Athletic Conference. So um, that, it, it's going to be challenging, but, but again, one we're looking forward to. And, you know, we like our chances, you know, every week if we play good football. 
think, you know, sky's the limit. Obviously, we want to go to the national title. I think everybody right now, zero and zero, wants to go to the national title. Uh, you know, got to got to win the conference, outright champions. Uh, got to go to the playoffs. You know, I think anything short of that, with the talent we have, wouldn't be what we're aiming for. If we're consistent, man, the sky's the limit. You know, and um, sometimes that when we don't make plays, we get down. But like, we just got to go to the next play and just play. You know, just play for each other, play for the brother that's next to you. And uh, man, we can. We really got to run at the deep in the playoffs. While there's a lot of optimism in Conway going into 2023, looking back at 2022 offers the team some mixed feelings. Five and six overall and three and two in conference in their inaugural season in the A-Sun. Good enough for a shared championship, but the Bears couldn't earn an FCS playoff bid. UCA hopes their recent shortcomings in blown leads and narrow losses can be learning lessons carried into this season. Now fielding a battle-tested senior-led team. I think we left meat on the bone, obviously, you know, not, not getting a playoff bid um, by being a co-champion. That's, that's, that's unfortunate. That's frustrating. Um, but, but it doesn't discount the fact that we were a champion. And so, you know, you, you value those, those moments because those don't come every year. Um, you know, the UCA has played football for almost 120 years. And, and I think we've got 30 conference championships in those 120 years. And we're a great program. You know, so that's a lot of years where you're not winning championships. So to, to put a ring on our guy's finger and uh, to raise a banner, I mean, all that's a big deal. Um, so, yeah, we're excited because the majority of that team's back. And so um, I, think, I think we're going to build off the successes we had, you know, that good feeling. You know, we had a lot of good feelings last year. But we also had a few heartbreaks and some frustrating times. And I think a lot of these these guys are show, have shown maturity throughout the year and um, throughout the off season on building on those frustrations as well. And hopefully we learn from them. Um, you know, us as coaching staff have obviously emphasized that it's it's, it's our job as, as as players, our players that are in this program, uh, to emphasize it amongst themselves as well. You know, your best teams are peer led. You know, your best teams are player led. Um, if they, if you don't have to motivate those guys and put those guys in a position to, uh, to 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 work hard and put themselves in a position to win. In, um, then we're, we're ahead of the curve. And I think this group is that way. They have, they have a lot of self-motivation. It's been fun to watch. Hey, you can't say UAC without UCA. We can't wait to see what the season has to offer for UCA and their fans. But coming up, while we still can, let's switch gears to basketball. Pro hog Isaiah Joe is in town this weekend putting on skills camps. Hear from the Thunder Star right after this. You're watching Final Score on Fox 16.